Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will unboxing Android screen for Mercedes W176. Okay, and, and I will um, explain step by step how to install. Uh, this um, Android have uh, the system is uh, 9.0 uh, and have 4 GB RAM and 64 of ROM. So sorry for my bad English, but I try to speak in English for the the majority understand me. So enjoy it. Well. Swear I won't forget this. Why do I regret this? In my mind, reckless thoughts are feeling endless. Sitting up, I'm breathless. Anxiety's infectious. I feel so defenseless, betrayed and embarrassed. I hate being open. I hate being broken. I feel like an ocean filled up with emotion. Anger ain't a potion. Rub it on like lotion. I can feel it soaking. Reopen the scars have awoken. I can't move on till I let go. I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go and um, uh, 4G antenna ok so this is the, the screen so let's go to the tutorial for the install and I will show you all steps for the install the screen ok thanks this is the original screen uh, have a dot, uh, have a four dot five inch, and uh, we need to know what the system have for um, select the system in the new screen Android. Okay, so this is the system. So 
So here we have to remove the right screw, okay? And uh, we have another one, the left screw. So we need to remove these screws for remove the, the screen. We did it remove it. So we have to, um, to disconnect these two cables, okay? The left cable and the right cable, okay? This blue cable we have to connect to, to the main cable. I will show you the step for, for connect. And uh, this screen, uh, it's, uh, it's very, very small. So we need to operate here. We have to remove the first bracket. I have two brackets, and this is the, the first bracket. In the second bracket, we have to remove these screws. Um, have uh, have uh, three screws and remove the bracket. Here we have to pull out with strong. Don't have fear with strong. In this step, we need to unscrew these screws from the control panel okay we have uh, in the uh, screw in the left and the side don't uh, need me to remove okay just unscrew nothing more now we have to pull the control panel okay out and we need to be careful because I have a cable in the, the right side okay if uh, if you push the control panel can be damaged and uh, disconnect uh, the main cable okay now we have to push the, the connector 4g antenna okay uh, and uh, now we push the, the connector gps we have um, uh, i think uh, it's meaning guide cable um, we push the, the connectors okay these connectors uh, will turn on the behind the, the screen so need to be for this zone okay this is the, the connector gps like i said and this is um, wi-fi antenna okay will be places will be placed on the um, on front on the dashboard sorry guys but i can't um, record this step but uh, we need to uh, we need to remove the glove box for pass the the the, the main cable okay uh, if uh, if not remove the glove box the glove box you can't uh, you can't pass the, the cable to the top so um, you can see in this step um, i will push the cable with my hand here so uh, this connector have to be placed here to connect behind the screen okay now we have to pass this cable to the to the top okay uh, this connector will connect behind the screen too and uh, here we have to connect uh, this cable to the blue cable that uh, we saw in the initial video okay just connect to each other and uh, and it's okay and uh, in this step uh, we'll push down the usb connector okay and uh, we have two usb connectors and uh, i will put um, inside the, the the glove the box okay uh, now you can see i i will try but uh, i can't uh, insert but uh, if you cut around a little bit, uh, the USB um, go to inside the box. Now, in this step, we have to connect the male with the female connectors. Okay, plug and uh, click. Now we have to know what connections uh, have to do. So he. Um, have uh, five methods of connections okay so check uh, what connection is yours in the user manual in this step we have to connect the the main main cable uh, behind the control panel okay in 
this step I will push the, the cable uh, for the lock box. The, this cable is uh, 3.5 jack. Okay, we don't need this uh, this jack uh, because don't have a AMI cable. Okay, but um, I will put it in the inside the lock box. connections are okay so turn on the screen okay and uh, test a little bit the touch and the other things so I think is everything is okay now we have to place again the first bracket and uh, this black connector don't worry we don't need to connect this now uh, we tighten the screws In this step we have to put the, the second bracket but uh, after put the bracket we need to pass the, the cables ok this cable, the right cable, okay, and uh, the small connection to the left, uh, the left pole. Now we have to connect the GPS. Don't forget, uh, put the gold connector. Okay, gold connector is GPS. If you connect with uh, the other connections, don't uh, don't will work. Okay. Is the 4G or Wi Fi? cable okay so we tape and put the, the, the behind the glove box okay we'll put in this place uh, it's okay in this step uh, pull the cables uh, down okay for the control panel uh, in We have to tighten the screws, the left and the right. Now we 
we have to place the three air vents to the to the right place. Now turn on the car and check if uh, everything is okay. step uh, NTG mode uh, don't appear so I will explain uh, how to, to make this process to um, to appear the, the NTG mode so first we need to to go uh, uh, NTG setup uh, over here NTG setup click factory add unit and the original menu and select for okay and the model just select your type model okay yeah, this car it's a so now I will now we will check if it works so you can see work perfectly mm -hmm. 